Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up your music files in the Lollipop app. So make sure you have it installed. I've already installed it on my system, as you can see. Now, once it's installed, I can open up the app and I can go to the menu here and click on Preferences. Now, by default, <clears throat> it has the music folder as where the database should be. But if you want to add another folder, you know, you can just put your music files in the music folder. But if you have a specific location, like I keep a lot of my MISC files in my Dropbox just to make sure it's backed up. And uh, I can just go here and I can click Open. Now, once I do that, it's going to, you know, scan my data. And as we can see, we've got the song that I did with a previous video. And uh, I can probably test it. I can't play the sound, I'll have to mute, but it works. And it added directly from my database and on my folder and stuff. And uh, if you go in here, you can add unlimited folders. So if you have a really weird folder structure, you can just click this plus sign a bunch of times. And uh, that's how you set up music in Lollipop. It's a very useful app. It's very, uh, very intuitive. And if I didn't use Spotify and pay for a family plan, I would definitely be using this program. But uh, sadly, I don't use MISC MP3 files that much anymore. I used to a lot, but I don't anymore. But I hope this information will help you if you are not a fan of these music services we all live with now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.